All right, hey uh, Gundam maniacs, let's uh, dive into SD Gundam. I, I can kind of show some tips and tricks that I figured out that's helped me along the way. Uh, first of all, let's check this out. So these are the mobile suits I've unlocked so far. So five hours in, it could be that there's more I could do, and I just haven't you know, figured that out yet. But um, yeah, you can see from SD, uh, IBO. Double O seed 80, which is really cool. 8th MS team, so now we're getting into my territory, the UC stuff. So, yeah, cool to see this. And you can choose, you know, who you want as your partner. What I have done is I've leveled up the GM. So I now actually have this GM uh, as a partner mobile suit. That way they're a little stronger. And I think it works that way. So, I mean, I guess it's a little tip to figure out as you're leveling up uh, mobile suits. Use them as part of your party. And also the skill set. Um, oh, you know what? I could probably do that. Or I think that this might be more of the pilot compared to the uh, mobile suit itself. So I, there's more e skills that I can equip here. Uh, but it's in the MS itself. So we'll go here to the GM where I've unlocked, where I have a second equipment part. So these are different from the skills we were just looking at. So make sure the mobile suits you want to use have their parts. You can just press Y or triangle, whatever controller you're using uh, to see up oh, the Zaku 2, even though I'm not using it, but let's add this one's good. Plus 46 melee, melee damage cut rate plus 5.72%. Although this says beam. I don't know what that means yet, but um, yeah, so let's do let's jump into a mission, maybe a mission that I've already played through. You know what? I'll, I want to get this mic thing out of the way. Uh, give me just a second. All right, I think that's better. Um, okay, so oh, a double O eighty story. Uh, you know what? I think this is one I played earlier and lost because that's the thing. You can, if you're not careful, you can um die easily. You, you really can. Uh, it, and it even tells you here, recommended MS level is 6. Okay. And I've already beaten it. It has the star. It even tells you the blueprints acquired up at the top. And actually, I'm hiding it. But here, it's showing the, uh, the I guess, the enemies uh, that are on this, depending on the storyline. Okay, let me jump into this real quick. Um. Okay. So, I'm level 12. My... Uh, Ground Gundam is level 10, you know, keeping that in mind. And then I have these two mobile suit partners that I have, and they're sort of leveled up because I've been using them. And you can even go in to select partner, choose the partner you want, which is pretty cool because depending on what you've leveled up or what skills they have, because you can see there's the different mobile suit types. Like, here's the all-rounder. In fact, I think... Um, all right, rounder, and I guess this is more of the melee one, and then I'm using one. I think that's more of the range or whatever, the sharpshooter, I think they call it. Um, okay, and then the skill set. Uh, yeah, we were looking at that earlier. Then what? Okay, yeah, we already did all this. What do I have on this guy? And you know what? You can, like, go back to previous missions, so then you can level up uh, your units. And that's where I think the game could potentially... Uh, start getting, uh, there's a word for that, you know, grindy or whatever, but I think what helps is I've noticed the mobile suits play differently. So when you unlock one, it's a low level, you need to level it up. You can go back, play the previous missions and have fun kind of learning its technique. But hey, let's just launch this and get started. I want to show off, uh, the combos, the combo system, how that's working. Um, I've been learning a lot of different stuff with Oh, and I like the music, I gotta say. I love the music here. But I'm not crazy about the voices, really, just because it's not in English. Is that racist of me? I don't know. Um, actually, I can skip this. All right, so B does the dash, right? But if you double tap A, it also puts you in a dash. So let me uh, hold down Y, get him in the air. That didn't work. Okay, hold down Y. Get him in the air, jump, do some comboing. You know, I'm... So, I was trying to press A and X at the same time to reset my combo meter, and it didn't work. So, I think there's specific 
times that you can do that, and I need to figure that out if it's in the middle of a combo or not. But as we go, I'm going to show that off. Within the levels, there are going to be these canisters, and you sometimes want to explore out just a bit in order to find them. I think there's someone behind us still. Okay. Uh, yeah, cause so, so there's stuff to explore. It's not a whole lot, but I think it's enough to make it a little more interesting. Especially if you have a party of people and you want to make sure everyone gets the currency they can, the XP they can. Alright, so... Well, I messed that up. But, you know, LB on this is, is ranged, actually. It's all ranged, so... The LB and RB, the special. So what I usually do with something like this is I like to be in the air when I'm using it so I'm, I don't get blocked by anything. Because as you saw earlier with the shot I made. That's cool. So again, I'm not sure when I can reset. I might have to be in the middle of fighting an enemy, like in the middle of a combo. And then I can do the reset. And I gotta say, this... I think it's the same map. It was challenging, and I think I found out my MS wasn't leveled up enough. Uh, but it's still a fun challenge, and I can kind of show how that gets challenging. Although I don't know with the level we have um, that it might end up being easier. Okay. Wow, that thing... Oh, and that's the thing, with, especially with the ground gun, I'm sharpshooter. You know, I have just a, uh... Okay. So, let's... So, <laughs> the tips and tricks here is kind of shown. I don't think I can block that. Maybe because he's jumping in the air, but I can use my super. Did that do much? I hope so. And then I need health. I, I really want to do a good block, but I... I gotta admit, I haven't been able to really nail that down. Okay, attack me again. Oh, that's some grapple, I don't think. Okay, so this is where I thought it got kind of difficult, is if the main boss is on you, you really have to be mobile. You have to move around. That might mean ah, putting your, your allies in the line of fire, but if people are paying attention, they'll... You know what, I really want to take out these other mobile suits, to be honest. Oh, he got me. I'm gonna head back here, repair again. And I guess, yeah, since I'm talking too, it's it's like a weird multitask issue where... I think it makes it harder on me both to talk and to play. But... Okay, so I want to take out these regular enemies real quick. Ran out. Okay, so I guess story wise, they leave the area. Okay. So, another thing, you know, it's kind of annoying. You can lock onto these, and they cause a huge explosion, but if you're fighting among other enemies, it will accidentally lock onto that. Alright. Yeah, another thing you gotta do is look for maybe. Crystals you didn't get pick that you didn't pick up are the canisters that are lying around. All right, let's see. Everyone seems to be pretty much okay, and it could just be because I've leveled the other partner mobile suits I have with me. And what I was kind of doing right there is to jump, hold down B to dash around. It's good to um understand where any enemy is at any time, because they'll just sneak up on you. Okay, see, I blocked that, but I wonder if maybe the blocking of, you know, some units, the timing is a little different. Okay, so I was able to do that chain break, but it could be because I have the uh, special um, lit up. I don't know. Alright. Okay, so... And you you notice like sometimes when you're fighting it's it, the the effects make things so noisy that you sometimes can't see what you're actually doing. Kind of just gotta 
it's gonna be a timing thing. Like over time, I will then just know the timing by default. Okay, that guy just ran away from that, didn't he? And that, okay. Yeah, being able to get the back here, do some comboing. See, you can't see that well, but I gotta get away because he's gonna. Alright. So, this is probably a good time to use. Oh no, this one. Um, it seems like it's better to be far away. It works better with groups of units. It's just during that animation. Oh, I'm talking. During that animation, you could actually um, lose the target. I've noticed it with this unit, specifically. The uh, GM, for instance, its special does a good job of hitting what you need to. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. See, I'm trying to get behind, but... Yeah, there we go, because if you get... The back attack. Can I break? No, it's not letting me... Yeah, I gotta figure that out. And there, uh, here's a, a good tip, is there's a tutorial that actually explains it all, and it shows how to do the break, and I nail it every time, but in-game, it seems there might be special circumstances I need to meet in order to be able to do that combo reset, or the break, what they call. Man, that guy just zoomed away fast. You know, something I want to bring up, too, is while the boost eats at your meter, you can see that you get a long time to kind of escape if you need to, get away, uh, get to a friendly unit if necessary. Okay, I got to get away from that. Man, yeah, he moves pretty quick. You know what this reminds me? We see the, you know, that Zelda... Breath of the Wild-esque stamina meter. But, you know, your ammo count's still over on the right, yet they put the stamina meter where they put it so you can watch as you're playing. I'm gonna see if I can save that guy, but he's gonna target me. But what I'm getting at is, it would be nice if the ammo was also in that same area so that you can... Oh, he's saving him. That's good. So that you can... There's a lot of times I'm not looking down at the bottom right, which is behind me, of my ammo count because I'm focusing on the action. And see, like, okay. Someone else is down. I'm gonna try something here. A little further away up in the sky, is it gonna hit him? No. Yeah, he can get away from that if you're not careful. Okay, you get a back attack. Oh, no, he got me there. That up. I mean, these guys are wrecking shop. I, I got a good team here. I, and again, it's really only because this is an earlier level that I've already leveled everyone up quite a bit. Okay. Enemy ace defeated, so... Again, this is one that I lost when I played it first, but... This is a game where if the more time you spend with it, the more you're going to figure out all that little stuff. Now, something else I try to do is make sure I don't miss... Because at the end of the levels, they'll just talk for a little bit, and then there'll be a countdown timer, and I use that to see if there's any uh, currency canisters or something anywhere. Oh, yep, there's one right here. Hopefully I get time to... No. Oh, got it. Nice. So that's cool. All right, yeah, leveled up my pilot. These pilots are leveling up. And you can kind of see there's like this hand-holding thing, I guess how friendly they are with you? I, I don't know how that's supposed to work exactly. Um, yeah. Man, I do wish there was some English voice acting, but um, really can't complain with what we got here anyway. All right, yeah, let's look at, so leveling them up. So, right now, I am concentrating on the ground-type Gundam, even though I was using the GM. The GM being an all-rounder... Oh, yeah, they have the name. So, um, let's see. That's an all-rounder. 
sharpshooter. Uh, you can see with the gun, you can see level one. I haven't used him that much. Level three, I've used, uh, I've leveled up. See, <laughs> the pilots will level up themselves, but then you have to level up the machine itself. So uh, I had that in battle and I had, yeah, the Dom and I, hmm, I could level them up quite a bit. I'm just kind of focusing on the suits I want to start using. Like at first I leveled this up to 15, then unlocked the thing for 30, but by then I had the ground Gundam. And then I kind of go in and just evenly distribute them, and eventually it will... Okay. Execute, yes. I think my plan is I'm going to go to 15. And then, you know, because really I want to unlock the RX-78 too. This is a main one for me. Uh, I just need three more of the Blueprint 3. That might be later on in the mission. Actually, yeah, when you go to a mission... So, you can see the mission screen here, and it actually shows at the bottom, break true. Because first you play the break level, where it's like there's a, a mess up, you know, in the dimensions, and the universe is crossed, whatever. <laughs> Later on, once you beat it, then it unlocks the true, so you're actually playing it where it's it's true to canon. Um, so when you're in, when you click on the mission, you can then choose which one you want to do, and it shows what the enemy, the primary enemy is going to be, even the... Uh, blueprints you can acquire so it, to it told me what i already have um and so yeah you can kind of go through the other levels and do that so so what's cool is we're seeing on zero i have a star i think it's because i've beaten everything uh the, the tutorial is good to use although the tutorial sets it up to make it easy to do the specific techniques but once you get in the game it really is dependent on your ms um and other variables Okay, so if I was going to go down to one, this is clear, this is clear, this is clear. This is all clear, yet I don't have the star, so this could mean that this will unlock different missions in the directory. Maybe there's some hidden things I haven't done. Let's see, show acquired blueprints. Yeah, it says I've got that. That one doesn't have an option. So maybe there's a blueprint here I need to get that I haven't got. Is this one, it's showing that. This one's showing that. Okay, so let's then go here. Although, it, again, it's not showing me. But I wonder if I can acquire a blueprint here. It's not giving me the option to see what it is, and it says it's clear. I don't know. I'll figure that out eventually. Uh, but yeah, then as you go through and beat it, it will unlock more. So I'm on Directory 3, which is pretty cool because it has Battle of Solomon uh, and 0080, War in the Pocket. So stuff that I'm totally into. And I can't wait, even with the five hours I've played, I still have Zeta to get stuff from. F91, I'm, I'm sure that was an option. Unicorn stuff, I, I I mean, I really can't wait to get through the rest of it. Um, Let's see, you know, something else that's really cool is this library here, because it has the music that you can actually listen to. Uh, and they've done arrangements of the original Gundam music from the series that's in here, and also some tracks from Battle Alliance that are their own tracks, and they're actually still pretty good so you know anyway that was just kind of quick tips and tricks of how i'm starting to play i think as i go there will be more advanced techniques i finally figure out that usually happens with games and me over time i tend to figure things out and i'll have more uh to show later so anyway hope you like it let me know if there's anything else you want me to show off here because i'm going to be playing this game a ton creating a lot of content um yeah and we'll talk later